Hello there, and as usual, I'm Aaron from Last Day and Gamers, and welcome. So, it is Thursday, and we know what happens on Thursday. We've got an exciting new update from Space Engineers team. Now, let's actually have a look in our terminal. Now, you can see that we've got this comms tab, and this comms tab actually allows us to broadcast messages to specific players. So, if Tazu is within 100 meters, well, 200 meters of me, I'm going to be able to broadcast a message to him. So, let's go and say hello. So we've sent him the hello message. Let's hope that he's there to actually give us a response. And there we go. There he's sent us a response back. So that's a specialized message. Now, if I click away from this tab, for instance, and Tazu sends me another message, um, what actually is going to happen is it'll come up with showing that I have an unread message from that particular player. So at the moment, Tazu's not sent me anything. And then as soon as he sends me something, it'll pop up. So there we go. You can see he's got a little bit of a one. So if I go back on that tab, it'll click off that. And there you go, we've got a message from Tazu. Now, these only work up to 200 meters, so there is gonna have to be a use for the antennas that are gonna extend the signal range. Now, if Tazu takes the long walk along that strip of asteroid or whatever it is, strip of sort of metal and steel, as he gets further and further away, he's gonna actually run out of communication range from his suit, so I'm gonna actually have to boost the message using this antenna. That's actually quite simple and quite exciting. So the maximum range of the suit is 200 meters, and if I'm not in proximity to something like this, an antenna, this is currently switched off, we'll notice when we send a message, we bring up the tab, comms panel, and we say hi. Or we actually select Tazu and then say hello. We'll actually see that we have got a pending request, so we can't actually manage to get the message out to him because he's too far away. Now if Tazu starts to come towards us, we'll notice that this message is going to change, so he's going to fly towards us ever so slightly, and then it'll actually manage to send the message, so we'll check Tazu, and you can see it's no longer pending, and it's being sent, and he can even return a message because he's in range. Now, the more exciting feature is, of course, a broadcast. If you select this broadcast message, this will deliver the message to everyone in your immediate vicinity. Now, if we do something like this, for instance, we activate our antenna, we hop into here, and we turn the antenna on, so turn that block on. Now, as long as we're in range of this antenna, it will send out the message to the antenna's maximum range. So let's actually bring up our comms and hit the broadcast button. So we're going to broadcast this to everyone in the area. So we'll say hi again. So everyone should be able to pick that up in the immediate vicinity of that antenna. Now, the antenna also works through a direct communication. So as long as I'm 200 meters from that antenna, I can also send one to Tazu, wherever he may be, far away in space or on his little private ship and I can say hi there again and it'll all come through quite exciting quite interesting and it's a great way of communication I was hoping maybe some some little menu where you could fix a camera and like on the uh, Star Trek and stuff like you you press one button and you have like a video display popping up and you can actually see the guy but you know it, it's pretty cool for early stages at the moment and maybe in the future a little camera will pop up and you can see Tazu's messages display now oh, that would be absolutely epic anyway let's move on so there's also been a considerable update to the programming block. You can now change more of the variables and make it a little bit more in-depth. So in case you like me and Tazu and you enjoy the rave cave, you can activate lights of multiple colours to have any sort of disco arrangement you would like. Very nice, very nice indeed. Now there's been a few new configurations as well to the outside scripts in a modding, including skyboxes and other things that you can actually add in more depth and change the details of them further. But anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and it looks like Tazu would like to as well.